uh, Alexis bought me this book. It's a uh, kid chef every day. I'm gonna learn how to cook. The easy cookbook for foodie kids. I don't know what the fuck that means. Simple recipes and essential techniques to wow your family. Now that I look at it though, you'll find some pictures in there, but not enough pictures to keep me fucking reading. I could maybe use this for Jeb's Cafe though. And again, I feel like that'd be way too fucking easy. Kind of defeat the purpose of Jeb's Cafe, but maybe I could get some ideas of what I want to do. Let's see. Skillet, veggie, and beef mac and cheese. All right, let's just make beef mac and cheese. Lemon pepper pork chop. That sounds like a whole lot of work for food that probably doesn't taste that good. Dude, I can't be the only person that genuinely believes wholeheartedly that any food that I can get from anywhere outside of my home is better than anything that could be created inside of my home. I could have Gordon Ramsay show up to my fucking house, cook a burger, and I'd probably rather eat a Five Guys burger. It tastes too homegrown. Does that make sense? I think it's just because I've been so used to it my entire life, you know, just eating, you know, household food after household food after household food, where every single time that I ended up, you know, getting something, you know, not so good for myself, like some sort of fast food, I thought that fast food was amazing because I didn't get it as often. I thought that was mainly the reason and why I like this so much. But no, I just don't like home food much. Like I get really uncomfortable whenever I go to somebody's house who ends up cooking dinner for us because it's like, I already know this is gonna be probably only a five or six out of 10 for my palate. What does my palate consist of? Nothing notable, nothing good. <laughs> I mean, it's good, just not good for you. Yeah, by the way, you can see my background's all pink now. Everybody does this now. Everybody just puts all these lights all over their room. Yeah, sure, I'll do it, fuck it. It's pink anyway, I like pink. Speaking of pink, today I just finally learned that there are only four different flavors in Starburst pack. It's like the original Starburst. There's only red, pink, yellow, and orange. I, for some reason, thought that there were at least two or three more flavors than that, but all right. All right, I got the Thresher and the Sniper's Nest. See what they do. Probably more than my strike team would have done for me. Does anybody else, whenever you end up getting a strike team, do you command them around the map or do you just kind of let them walk around? Because it feels like half the time if I don't command them, they get no kills. But then I'm like really shitty at commanding them on where to go. Because I command them to go to a certain area where I know that they're going to spawn. But by the time I get there, I've already killed like two or three of them and then they're stuck standing there and then I can't command them again. And it's just, yeah. This combo is actually not bad. Not as good as Dog's Chopper Gunner or something like that from Black Ops 1, but <laughs> another Thresher. Gimme, gimme. All right, never mind. My Thresher got like four whole kills that whole time. It did like the work at the start and the second one got like maybe one kill. I had, all right, second shot, man. The Kashka just feels so nice when your shot's on. When it's not on, it feels terrible and then it makes you always want to go back to the Paladin. <laughs> so I might sound stupid or like really, really superstitious, not to imply that superstitious people are stupid or whatever, you know, gotta be careful how I'm warning shit. But I'm not that superstitious of a person, okay? But I do some shit that is pretty superstitious and I didn't even really realize. It's more so just how you're feeling, okay? When you wake up in the morning. Here, I'll give you an example of how I do this. Actually, I'll give you an example of what happened today. So usually every single day, whenever I wake up, you know, I sit there and ponder, how much time did I get to sleep? How am I feeling? When should I get up? And the answer usually is between sometimes four hours if I just stay up way too late and I, there's no way that I'm going to be able to sleep through the entire afternoon because obviously I have to upload the video. So I end up losing sleep. Try to wake up earlier in the day, have more time, all that stuff. That's the good schedule. You know what I mean? It might sound a little extreme, but I'm just going to explain it exactly how I think of it in my head. Do you ever make things that are part of your day? early in the morning or whenever you're waking up or whatever do you ever just hinge your entire day based on like one thing that's happening throughout that entire day for example i could tell if it's gonna be a good or bad day when i'm done recording and then all the recording is fucked up right but sometimes it gets a little ridiculous like that and for obvious reasons is going to affect my day negatively because then i have to take more time to do all this extra shit just to get the video working and most people don't know or care or sympathize with you know any of that kind of shit that's going on you know what i mean so usually you're alone in dealing with that kind of thing and you just kind of take it on the chin. I decided when I got up today, I was gonna go downstairs and we still have all this candy left over from Halloween. Packaged candy, so it's just sitting there and people pick at it whenever they want or whatever. Got some Skittles, Starburst, other things in there. And I had like these little fun packs of Starburst. They come in these cute little two packs. I choked. I choked so fucking hard. I was going to decide that my entire day hinges on what flavors I get out of this little package. My favorite flavor being pink, and I feel like for most sane people, it's probably pink as well. Not because I'm trying to be annoying about the color pink or whatever, you know, pink headset, pink room, oh, I like the color pink everything. No, it's not the case, it's just really is that good. And say it goes, uh, pink, 
red, orange, then yellow. Or pink, orange, red, then yellow. It kind of depends on the mood. But pink, I'm always in the mood for pink. It's fine. Yellow's in last place. Doesn't mean that yellow's bad in any way, shape, or form. It's good. I like lemons. But I don't want to start my day out on lemon. I got a 25% chance to get the color yellow, okay? There's four flavors. I got a 25% chance to get yellow. I got two of them. So that, to me, already just told me that my day was going to have something happen in it. I don't know what it is, but I started my day out with lemons. But hey, try to start your day out with two lemon starbursts and tell me how you're feeling later. Tell me your spirits are at their highest. I almost dropped 40 kills on these guys. Holy shit. But I got as many kills as their team did in total. I tried to line that up right there, but then this lined up for me. That was nice AFK guy. I was wondering where the fourth dude went, and then this guy spawned, and I choked that shot. I'm so sad. And then I missed the second time just for the icing on the cake. I had to pull out my insecurity stick. I know people are like, oh, dude, why Starburst? Are you really eating Starburst for breakfast and all this other shit? It's like, no. I kind of opened it up like a diabetic fortune cookie. Yeah, a sugar fortune cookie, if you will. Fortnite creator code? I don't have one. I think I was offered it, but then I turned it down because I didn't really care. <laughs> Whoops. I, dude, I've seen the amount of money people have brought in with that fucking code. Woo! And there's like a million more people out there that play Fortnite and stream Fortnite way more often than I do. There's so many fucking codes out there, it doesn't even matter. That's not even like some sort of like fishing for compliments or pity type shit. There's quite literally hundreds of different options. <laughs> and Avery plays this shit on a regular basis and they don't even give him a creator code. <laughs> I made a video a while ago, like a week, week and a half, something like that. It's 24 hours as a banana. And in that video, I was basically just like asking people what they would want from me and I came to the realization in my head that you know I want to do a little bit of Call of Duty a little bit of Fortnite random games that people suggest and then like some Jeb's Cafe slash P.O. boxes and shit like that you know what I mean but sometimes I kind of get scared to read some of these comments so it takes me a while to read through the comments because I see one fucking thing on there and it's just like all right, yeah, don't want to read this anymore. It's also difficult to decipher sometimes if uh, people are serious or not about some of this shit. Like, I've made videos on games where people have had, like, it's been thousands and thousands of thumbs up, and then when I uploaded it, it wasn't the same amount of support that there was in the comment. It's really weird. You always have to be careful about, you know, worrying about wasting your time and efforts on random shit like that. Like, I'm sure Requees on Wii with Wii Boxing would do amazing, but the whole recording process with the Wii, I'm not buying a fucking Wii. One question that's asked on a regular basis is, what is in this closet? I'll show you some shit. Got my giant fucking computer. We got, oh, shit. Bobies in here. I got my glaive. This was a shit I was looking for forever. I got this glaive. You see this shit? This cool fucking anime sword here that has what. Yesterday, when I was looking through this closet, these things ended up falling out of the sword when I picked it up and it fell onto the floor. This blade landed in the carpet like this. And it made like that cool ass metal sound where it's like, shit as it was like falling down onto the ground and then finally hit the ground. This isn't sharp though, but I was so happy when I finally got one. Don't have a flail yet. I don't even know if those are legal to have, but I don't have a flail. I have like long swords and short swords, daggers, large daggers, rambits, pocket knives, Swiss army knives. I'm just gonna eat. Anyway, I thank you guys so much for watching this video. My most recent videos are popping up on the screen here. Sorry for another COD video tomorrow. I'll probably do death run again, uh, maybe. And I guess we'll just go to there and uh, yeah, later. <laughs>